Chop, chop, you're going to be late for college. There's no point in me going in. I won't be able to concentrate. Oh, Sean's only gone on holiday. She's not emigrated. And even if she had... What? Go on, say it. She's your first love and that's special, but you're still kids. Your education's going to have an impact on the rest of your life. Yeah. And so will Sean. You was only a teenager when you met my dad. Yeah, and look at us. Don't ruin your prospects for the sake of something that probably won't last. You need to see the big picture. What, like you and Alpha? His name's Jeff. Well, whatever he calls himself. Look, the only big picture he's interested in is the one with Rosie with the kit off. So I do hope you are going to finish it. I'm going to work and you're going to college. Why, oh, yeah, Jeff, you're keen. I don't buy all that plate cool baloney. I like someone, I'll let them know. <laughs> Besides, I feel a mean spud. Oh, that's one up on Kevin. <laughs> Did you remember to ah. be? Ah, right. Well, in that case, you can come in. Who's the suit? Rose's agent. Well, was her agent. She got rid of them. So what's she doing at Delsh? Tough. It's not Rosie who's come to say. It's Mum. Why? She's a bit long in the tooth for modelling. It's not that. They're going out, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Is he staying long? Mind your manners, young lady. Jeff's a guest. Well, I didn't invite him. Yeah, well, if you're that bothered, go out. I do live here as well, you know. <sighs> Sorry, Jeff, I did warn you. Well, very secure. This door's got a deadlock. It's on, I see. Taking no chances. Not letting him get away. This is a lovely wine you've brought, Jeff. It's such a nice change to dine with sophisticated company. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm used to eating with men whose idea of a decent bottle is HP. You having a pop? If you don't like my dinner conversation, I suggest you go elsewhere. And you know what's paid for that fancy wine? Pictures of people's daughters with a kiss off. What, like that calendar in the garage, you mean? This is the bloke who wanted our Rosie to have a boob job. He's a scumbag. What's your mouth, mate? Oh, yeah! This is my house. I can say what I want. Are you going to try and stop Come it? Come on, guys. This is getting a bit out of hand. Sorry about Jeff. He was always the jealous type. Jealous? Disappointed, more like. What? Well, I thought he was better in this. I can't believe you betrayed your own kids for the price of a bottle of wine. Ah, says the man who knocked up the girl in the corner shop. Uh, uh, look, we're just going to leave you to it. Look, there's no need. I think there probably is, mate. We'll let ourselves out, yeah? Um, you've got a very nice house. <laughs> First you destroy this family and then you try to take the roof from over it. Well, head. you made this happen. You left me no option. Any half-decent man would have held up his hands and walked away. Not the Look, God. Will you stop it? Look, how long is this going to go on for? Well, I'm sorry, so. So you should be. Just go, will you? I think you should go too. I'm sorry, Jeff. It's not your fault. You all right? I'm fine. I'll call you. There. You've done what you set out to do. When the house is sold, you can have dinner with whoever you want. But while I'm paying the mortgage... You decide who I see. <laughs> do you know, I haven't got the energy for this now. It's almost as bad for me as you were. Didn't mean to upset you, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> 